Hey guys, Drifter here. Today we're going to be unboxing the brand new Logitech G560 speakers. They're gaming speakers that have lights that react to the game you're playing. So when you get your ultimate ready, when you get shot, it'll flash red. It'll do a lot of neat stuff. We're going to be unboxing the brand new Logitech G513 keyboard, which is kind of the big brother of the G413, which is what I use upstairs. This one has lighting that syncs with this one. And on top of all of that, for reasons that are unknown to me, I also got a G903 mouse, a big upgrade over my 403 and a brand new gaming mouse pad, which I needed because my old one was getting a little bit run down. But this is the big boy today. This is one of the biggest boxes that we've ever unboxed. And in order to celebrate, we're gonna get a doggo up here. Just to give you a sort of size comparison, this is the box and this is the dog. It is a very, very big box. One of the biggest that we have ever played with on the channel. It's got two enormous speakers inside with a big powerful subwoofer and I kind of can't wait to see what goes inside of it. Not what goes inside of it. That's very dirty, Jessica, what comes out of it. We even got a knife, not for dogs, but you're a good boy, huh? You want to be up here while we unbox it? We can do that. Here, you can just stay up here, buddy. All right, so the way we do this, I'm going to say is we use the knife to cut the little plastics. Oh, dude, it's huge. Oh, we got a uh, welcome... Uh, welcome to LightSync Gaming Speakers, right there on the inside of the box. That is the technology that we are primarily talking about today, which is LightSync. You can see that we get instructions on how to set this up. That's a lot more complicated than your normal plug-and-play products, so I'm going to see what else is inside waiting for me. This is enormous. We have to keep a wide field of view here so you can even see what all I've got. All right, I see power cables. Okay, those are plugged into something. Don't yank those too hard. Ugh. Yes. Okay, we're going to have to uh, probably lay the box on its side and slide this bad girl out. Yes, Ozzy, you are a good boy. You are helping me unbox today. You are such a good dog. You're a smart dog. Uh-huh. Come on. It's so big. That's what she said. Come on. Get out of there. I believe this is the big powerful subwoofer I was talking about. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the subwoofer box, especially since it's got the power cable. We're gonna go ahead and rip the paper off of it in the most satisfying way that we can. Oh, it's even branded on the side. Hold up, I'm gonna flip it around so you guys can see the branding side as we open it up. Yep, I had it sideways. This is the subwoofer box. What a big girl she is. She is a right proper behemoth. And Ozzy, you know what? I've made you a nice little hat. Let's give you, oh, he does not like. That is a 0% like. Okay. <laughs> let's, get, let's get a nice close up of some of the features on this so you can see how it's made. You can see uh, the branding on the front with light sync. You can see the Logitech G on the top up here. And I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it around to the back side so that you can see what kind of ports we're working with. I'm actually doing this unboxing so fast, even I didn't get a chance to glance at what kind of ports we're working with. So uh, I am, I'm assuming that most of you are smart consumers. Most of you know what those are and what they do. I know it uses Bluetooth as well, which is nice. So if none of those float your boat, you can connect it to multiple Bluetooth devices. And I'm gonna rotate her back around. I don't think I've ever had a subwoofer with my PCs, have I? I don't think so. Okay, hey buddy. All right, let's get nice and close for this box, which I'm not sure what this one is or how I open it for that matter. Ah, I found it. All right, doggo. You're a good doggo. You know that? Ozzy, what's in the box? Look, what's in it, buddy? Something scary. He hates cables. Actually, that's a lie. He loves cables. They're delicious to him. These are most of the cables, and I believe these are the two RGB speakers, and these are going to be the VGA cables that you use to hook them up to the big subwoofer with. So I'm going to get them out, and out of this box, we're going to open up the next layer right here. What is this? Oh, this is one of the branded Logitech uh, USB cables with the nice little hook in on the side so they never bend or come unsnap, thank God. And what is underneath all this? Anything in here? Nope, that is it. So we're going to put this box away. Put it on the side. 
over here by our very timid boy. And let's unwrap one of these speakers. Jessica, if you want to come in close, I'm going to see what I can do to make this look beautiful for our unboxing. Okay. So that is likely going to be the lighting where it projects from if I had to bet. And this is the speaker itself. So this, you can see the G branding, so it sits on the side. It's got this sort of uh, semicircular, semi-ovular look to it. So you would set it down. You got a little L sticker, so this would be the left speaker. And you get your sound out of the front, obviously, because it's a speaker. But the light for the light sync technology is on the back. It's a sort of lamp back there. I haven't tested it out yet at this point, but the test is coming. Is there plastic there I need to peel off? Nope, that's pretty normal. So that one's going to be the left speaker. Let's unbox the right speaker. It should be identical, we hope. Otherwise, we're going to get some very asymmetrical sound. That's not usually how Logitech rolls. Yep, same thing. But on the right-hand side, as you can see, they're identical, except the right-handed speaker has the branding on the side, and it has the controls on the top. So you can turn it on and off, and you can adjust the volume up and down as needed. It's even got a different sort of a... Oh, these are color-coded, right? So on the back, you can see your left and right speakers so that you don't mix them up. Good idea. Next up today, we're going to take a look at the keyboard before we start testing things out. So I'm going to use my handy dandy knife again to split one of these little pieces of, aha, here it is. This is, all right, we're going to split this one right here on the side. This is the Logitech G15 carbon keyboard. I'm a little bit of a fan of the stainless steel, but my wife likes the carbon series. Mechanical, of course, very good response time. But this is the one with the light sync technology so that this will sync with this. And if I had to bet, I would bet it doesn't have a direct cable hookup, but instead I would bet that it hooks up through the Logitech software, which you get uh, with any product. You just put it on your desktop. I usually use it to change my lighting and my mouse DPI settings. Ooh, here we are. Very fancy. Let's get a close shot of this. Yeah, look at that. Let's see if I can take it out. If I can get my grubby little fingers underneath it and pull out. The keyboard. What do we have here? Oh, it's inside the box. Let's see if I can... Pretty sure that's not how I was supposed to do that, <laughs> but I did it that way anyway. And uh, let's put, peel the plastic off so we can get a good look at her. I'm trying to do it in the most like unboxing-friendly manner possible, but I think I'm just making it look unnatural. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. There we go. There is the carbon fiber, and of note, this is metal. That's like uh, stainless steel right there. It's one of my personal favorite features of it. It adds a nice, like, sleek sort of feel. And this came with something that my other keyboards did not. There's a nice, uh, cushy wrist rest. I generally don't use these because I drag my keyboards around a lot and I travel with them a lot, so I can't carry the wrist rest with me. But it is a nice feature to have. Oh, it doesn't hook in or anything. That's nice. Oh, it doesn't have to, like, mechanically snap in. It's just got little, little stickies on the bottom. So you can just sit it there, let it rest. That is the G15, G513, I almost said the G15 keyboard. Inside, of course, you do have some replacement keys as well, the common ones that you wear down very quickly. So I will get that out and put it to the side. Lots of monsters coming in here today. I can't wait to play with this. And it looks like, what is this port on the back end? There's something new here I haven't... <laughs> I just dropped a bunch of stuff. There are some additional ports on the top. This looks, I'm not sure what that does. That's a screw and an optical cable. I'll read the instructions later. I should know what that does. And this is an additional USB port so that you can plug USB devices into it. You'll plug two of these into the back of the computer and then one USB device you can just plug in up there for like flash drives and stuff so you don't have to get on your knees and fool with it. You can run a mouse through it too if you want to. All right, well, that's all for these. Let's go test these two out and I'll show you the unboxing of these two products when I'm done. So we've just booted up the Logitech gaming software so that you can see what the keyboard can do. And as you can see my keyboard loadout, I've got it set up for most first person shooters. I can see the Windows keys that I need, WASD are red, Q and E are blue for peeking. I've got my function keys and I've got weapons one through six light up. But if I want to, you can see I can turn them off individually or on individually, or we can just, let's see, highlight that whole row. Let's, yeah, we'll do that, and let's make sure, we made those function keys. Let's, let's, uh, we're making everything function keys. I'm going to go to numbers, and we're going to make all of these numbers again. We can go to our arrow keys, and I can paint these blue if I want to, or turn them off. I can add breathing effects. There is the strobe effect that you've seen in a lot of different things. 
Uh, I like the zone mode more than anything because I can just customize things exactly the way I want them. You could, if you wanted to, just do like custom lighting and do all sorts of crazy stuff. What's this? Oh yeah, color wave. We've got uh, breathing. That's an interesting one. Fixed color. The star effect is kind of a strange one. It like each key like lights and does its own thing. You can change your star color and the key and the speed. There's the color wave. That's what I had before. It's the color cycle. I think the color cycle is just where it kind of slowly phases through different things. The ripple is an interesting one because it only happens when you hit a button and the ripple like ripples out. Let me make it a lot slower so you can see it here. But yeah, so I'm going to hit the G key. And you can see it ripple across the keyboard as well, which is kind of interesting. Let's see, what is the stock? Did it do? Where's another fun one? The key press one's kind of neat too. I'll slow it down a little bit. It kind of like, it kind of like, oh, we'll do it fast. We'll do it a little faster. Okay. So you can see it like lights up each key as I press them. So when I just smash a bunch of keys, they light up and slowly fade out. Personally, uh, I don't like these. I just really like this fixed one so that I can see the keys that I want to see in the dark. But that's not the fun thing. What we really want to see today is the light sync technology because the audio visualizer you can boot up from the app. I'm going to go ahead and start the audio visualizer. And when I do that, you'll notice that both the keyboard and the speakers go completely dark. But let's play a clip from Fortnite and let it pull audio from that and I'll show you what it does in Fortnite. Pretty neat, right? So now that you've seen the test of the light speed technology and how it works with a couple of different games, I'm gonna briefly unbox the Logitech G903 mouse and then the Logitech G840 gaming mouse pad. I almost called it a keyboard because I'm looking at the keyboard over there. So the mouse is very straightforward. This is their top of the line, also uh, power play compatible with wireless. It's a little bit of an upgrade over my old one. I believe I may have unboxed one of these before on the channel but it comes in a very fancy stand, very modular, futuristic. It almost elevates right on out. And you can see you've got two buttons there, third button there. This is usually a DPI adjuster. Scroll wheel, clicks of course, left, right. And on the left hand side, you have two more function buttons giving you plenty of function. Of note, this one's super, super light. You won't, I can't uh, show that via video. It's extremely light but there are weights in here that you can use to put in different places on the mouse to give it the exact weighting and balance that you want. And it also comes with USB cables and it's uh, Logitech PowerPlay compatible, so you can do it wireless or wired just depending on what you want to do. So I'll slide that bad girl back in the box. Come on, get in there. Are you not gonna get in there? You're gonna make me look dumb on my own unboxing video? There we go. And this one, now this is very nice because my old gaming mouse pads, uh, it's dying a little bit. I'm gonna use the knife to cut around the top because there's a little bit of tape on the top. Praying that I don't cut too deep and accidentally cut the mouse pad. There we go. Oh, it's got a nice protective cardboard layer on it, nice. All right, uh, these things, criminally underrated. A lot of people be like, why would you pay for a gaming mouse pad? I'm not gonna pay for that, blah, blah, blah. I love these things. Once I got my first big gaming mouse pad, I would just never go back. It was so hard to go back. Oh, it stinks. Oh man, I smell it. It's got that, uh, it's got that like new rubber smell. You smell that, Jessica? Yeah, big mouse pad. So what I like about these, I guess I would move some of these other toys out of the way is that it gives me space to arrange things however I want. So I can put my keyboard here. I get the mouse back out very briefly as an example. And I can just put the mouse there and I can just move it around however I see fit. I don't ever have to worry about keeping it on a little triangle or rectangle on the side. I really have plenty of room to move it that way. And if I'm a real space hog, I'd probably do something more like this and just do super low DPI like hit scan technology and stuff. So. Hit, not hit scan, hit, hit scan sensitivity. More often than not, I keep mine 
mm, probably a little bit more like this, and I use the wide area. So I'm probably be setting this up very, very soon. All right, guys, that is the end of the unboxing today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. This is one of the biggest unboxings we've ever done here at the house. The Logitech G560 speakers were enormous and fun, but I hope you learned something about the light sync technology with the speakers, with the keyboard. I hope you learned something about mouse weights or gaming mouse pads in general, or maybe just enjoyed the doggos in the video. If you want to see any of these products, if you want to click uh, check them out, there are links available to all of them down there below in the description. Drifter out.